Certain transfers were made in the past year or so which left both the clubs and their fans having high expectations, but so far those players have failed to live up to those expectations. Basically, in footballing terms, they've flopped. Here are 10 transfers that have already flopped. Number 1. Aubameyang to Chelsea Aubameyang enjoyed a short spell at Barcelona but had to leave once the club signed Lewandowski. But looking back at things now, it would have been a lot better if he had just remained in Spain. He has scored just three goals and provided one assist in his 16 games in all competitions for Chelsea. This is far from the Aubameyang we know, who scored 13 goals and provided one assist in just 24 games at Barcelona. These days Aubameyang doesn't even play much anymore. He was even brought on and then later taken off in the same game against Manchester City. That's humiliating for any player, not to mention a player of Aubameyang's stature. But then you can't really blame the former Gunners captain for making the move to Stamford Bridge in the first place. Chelsea had no pure senior centre forward, they still don't, so it was assumed that Aubameyang would just walk into the team. Also, he was motivated by Thomas Tuchel, a man with whom he had good relations. But Tuchel was dismissed not long after his arrival and the succeeding coach doesn't seem to fancy him so much. Right now, Aubameyang is considering a move back to Barcelona before the January transfer window closes. As far as this window is concerned, that's the only club he can move to. Will it happen for him? Number 2. Deli Alli to Besiktas His was just a loan, but it definitely goes down as one of the worst transfers that happened last year. He's currently Besiktas' highest paid player, but he's so bad that he doesn't even play anymore. He's been left on the bench for four of the last five league games, and the one where he came off the bench, he played one minute. Ali has flopped so badly at Besiktas, they can't even wait till the end of the season to send him back. They want him out this January. But Everton also don't want him back right now, so he has to stay there. That's how bad it has been. Number 3. Calvin Phillips to Man City Calvin Phillips really gave up his starting shirt at Leeds to be a bench player at City. The guy was signed for £45 million and has played a grand total of 5 minutes in the Premier League this season. No wonder everybody was shocked when he made it to England's World Cup squad. Before the World Cup, he had played only one minute. His fitness issues and him being out of shape for some time has not helped him either. He is without a doubt one of the biggest flop transfers in the Premier League this season. Number 4. Richarlison to Spurs Yes, Richarlison had a decent outing at the World Cup with Brazil, but as far as Spurs are concerned, he's been a flop so far. Of course, as a centre forward, it was always going to be a struggle for him to get some playing time with Harry Kane in the team, but come on, no Premier League goal since joining the club, that's not good at all. Richarlison has scored just two goals for Spurs since he joined last summer and both of them came in his first Champions League game. Since then, nothing, no goals. This is a guy who was signed for £50 million, surely not impressive so far. And with Conte preferring a front three of Kane, Son and Kulusevski, it's hard to see how Richarlison can turn his form around. Number 5. Lingard to Forest Lingard had the opportunity to join West Ham last summer, but he followed the money and went to Nottingham Forest instead. With Forest sitting atop of West Ham right now, that seems like a good decision for Lingard, but Nottingham Forest probably don't share his view. Lingard is yet to score or even provide an assist in the Premier League this season. In games when the club has needed individuals to rise and help lift the team, Lingard has always been found wanting. He was probably signed to be the club's star man, but he has so far been far from that. And remember that Forrest pay this guy 200k per week. Big flop, bad investment. Number 6. Coutinho to Aston Villa The Coutinho to Villa move was a fairy tale one on many levels. He was reuniting with his former Liverpool teammate Steven Gerrard, and the first game he was going to play was against their arch rivals Man United. United were leading 2-0 in that game when Coutinho came on in the second half and then boom, boom. In less than 15 minutes, he set up one goal and then scored the equaliser himself. A hell of a debut. But that was pretty much it. His form started dropping from there. Now he's gone from being a starter to being Buendia's deputy. Since joining Aston Villa a year ago, Coutinho has managed only 5 goals and 3 assists in 37 appearances. And the last time he started a Premier League game was back in October. Definitely a flop. Number 7. Yves Bissouma to Spurs Bissouma really was that guy at Brighton, but since he made that £30 million move to Spurs in the summer, he's been looking like a totally different guy. He doesn't look like that much of a good ball winner or tackler anymore. No wonder he's been struggling for game time under Conte. As a matter of fact, new boy Pap Matar Star 
seems like he's about to move above Bisuma in the pecking order. There's still time for Bisuma to turn things around for himself at Spurs though, but right now, it's not looking too good for the Malian. Number 8. Koulibaly to Chelsea Koulibaly just seemed like the perfect replacement for Rudiger, so Chelsea had no problem spending £33 million on him last summer, but that has not proved to be a very good investment. The Senegal captain has not looked half as solid as we know him to be, and he's made a couple of defensive errors here and there since joining. Perhaps you could say that Chelsea being in a bad state right now has not helped him settle in at all well, but come on, this is Koulibaly we're talking about here, and oh gee, that shouldn't be an excuse for him, should it? Number 9. Ryan Gravenberch Bayern signed Gravenberch from Ajax for €23 million Euros last summer, but the dude is still yet to get really integrated into the team. He still hasn't started a Bundesliga game, so are you surprised that he also hasn't scored or assisted in the German top flight? The only upside to this transfer right now is that the Dutchman is still just 20 years old, so there's still a lot of time for improvement, but will Bayern be that patient with him? Especially considering that they have a better and younger midfielder in Musiala. Number 10. Neil Mopé Mopé moved from Brighton to Everton for about 12 million euros last summer, but that has not looked like a very good move for either party. Mopé has only managed one goal in 15 appearances so far for the club. Lampard was hoping to have the Frenchman as a backup for Calvert-Lewin, but right now, both Mopé and injury-laden Calvert-Lewin have scored the same number of goals this season. Everton were probably hoping that signings like this would keep them away from another relegation battle, but halfway into the season, they're right back in the thick of it. Anyway, who would you say has been the biggest flop transfer in Europe in the last year? Let us know in the comments. Also, what's your prediction on the likes of Gakpo and Mudrik? Would they also be joining this list in a couple of months? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. As you do that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel too. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.